Hi, this is Bill with Farland Classic Restoration. Most of our regular viewers associate us with producing really high-end, international-level, show-quality restoration on our cars. Every now and then, though, a client will come along who says, well, I don't want one of those show princesses. I actually want a car that I can take out and drive and maybe even get dirty. You've seen the expression in advertising, a particular car is called a driver. So we thought, since we have one, it would be a good idea to just kind of point out what makes this otherwise beautiful looking XKE a driver. Some cars find themselves labeled as drivers through poor use, neglect, and such things. But other times, that label gets kind of developed as the years have gone by. That's the case with this car. We think back to how old these cars are. Many of them have gone through one or two restorations during their lives, and other things have been changed. Also, things that are important to collectors today haven't always been. Back in the 80s, if the engine in one of these cars let go, it was much cheaper to buy an engine from another car than it was to rebuild the original, and that's what a lot of them got. Fortunately, Jaguar numbers the engines in these cars, and we can tell by looking at the stamping on the block that the engine in this car is not the original one the car came with. It's another 4.2 V inline six, like it should be, but it's not the one it was born with. Also, this car wasn't always red and tan, or as we now sneer and say, resale red. The car was originally built in a much darker red, more like a burgundy sort of color. But again, in the 80s, about the time they got their motors replaced, many of these cars suddenly turned into red with tan interiors. And that's the case here. So we have a car with an incorrect engine and not the original colors. That alone will keep it from being a show quality car. But neither of those have anything to do with how well the car runs or drives. Speaking about the engine, let's take a look at it. It is indeed the traditional Jaguar twin cam in line six. The 4.2 liter was the ones that they used in all of these series two models. And the car has the original correct uh, Stromberg carburetors with it and the XKE type air cleaner. Later series twos didn't have these. But you can see under here, the car is pretty nice but not perfect. It's not a car that you would take to a show and have everyone ooh and ah over it. There's actually a little dirt on it here and there. But the engine is tight and quiet. It runs super. There's no funny noises out of it. And there's no reason why this engine in this car won't give the next owner a lot of fun. OK, we just call this car a Series 2. XKE uh, buffs realize that they're Series 1s like that yellow one sitting over there, Series 2s, and then the later V12 Series 3s. For actually driving and enjoying one, the Series 2s are well known to be the best choice. Jaguar learned things during the years they were in production. In addition to making the engine larger in displacement, they dramatically increased the size of the cooling system over the early cars. It has a larger grill opening, which will help the cooling system keep the car from overheating on hot summer days. This also has a synchronized first gear, the earlier ones did not, has more comfortable seats than the earlier cars had. So there were a lot of small improvements that were done to the car to make it a Series 2, which again makes it a much more pleasant driver. That might be a, a better show caliber car, but it won't go down the road any better, in fact, not as well as this car does. On the interior of the car, we don't know what color the original interior was. It may very well have been this beige, could have been black. But what's here has obviously been replaced sometime over the years. Genuine leather, no vinyl in here, and it's the correct leather with the perforated sort of uh, texturing in it. And of course, everything matches the carpets, the door panels, even the convertible top is a beige that kind of matches this. The traditional XKE dashboard and beautiful wood rim steering wheel are here. The Series 2s have different style switches than the early Series 1s. They had these toggle switches that stuck out, but our Department of Transportation thought they were dangerous. Now we have rocker switches. 
Uh, the car doesn't have any kind of uh, funny stereo system built into it. That's all stock and as a uh, radio delete. Uh, there's plenty of room in here for a six-footer like me. And all the instruments work. The car runs and drives very, very well. Overall, this is a very nice solid car, has the correct chrome Dunlop wire wheels, recent set of good tires, and we know the car's chassis and the rear end and the transmission are all in nice, solid, healthy condition as well. We would welcome a call from anyone. We'll be glad to discuss the car further. We'd love to earn your business. Call any one of us here at Farland Classic Restoration. Thank you.